Hi guys, I've got a new book for you. This goes along with what Mrs. Mendoza was talking about on Monday. Anybody remember what that word was? Empathy. This book is called I Am Human is written by Susan Verde, a book of empathy. This is read with permission of Abrams Books for Young Readers. The art is done by Peter Reynolds, who you guys might remember from some of the books we've read before. One of his books that we've read is The Dot. Remember when we talk about making a difference with our own dot? I was born a miracle, one of billions, but unique. It's kind of crazy to think about how many babies are born and how we're all so unique. I am human. I am always learning. I'm finding my way and choosing my path on this incredible journey. I have big dreams. I see possibility. I have endless curiosity. I make discoveries. I have a feeling of wonder. I'm amazed by nature. I have a playful side. I find joy in friendships. I am human. But being human means I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. I can hurt others with my words, my actions, and even my silence. I can be hurt too. I can be fearful of things I don't yet understand and timid to try something new. I have a heavy heart when I feel sadness. I'm human. But then I remind myself that because I am human, I can make choices. I can move forward. A poor choice can become a better choice with thoughtfulness. Sometimes we may not even realize how bad our choices are until we've made them and we see what happens. But instead of beating ourselves up, we can say, you know what? I don't like the way that turned out. That was a bad choice. And next time I'm gonna make a better choice. A bad day can become a great day with kindness. I can act with compassion and lend a helping hand. See how we're starting to talk about the empathy here? He notices that she needs help. She's really struggling. So he lends a helpful helping hand and helps her carry her groceries. I can treat others with equality and be fair. I can choose not to fight but instead to listen and find common ground. Guys, I gotta tell you, this one is hard. Even for grownups, this one is hard. Sometimes we feel so passionately about things that we think that other person isn't making any sense. And so we stop listening. That is a bad position to be in. We always need to listen to the other side and try and find our common ground. I can say, I'm sorry, and ask for forgiveness. I am human, one of billions, but unique. I am not alone. I am connected to my friends, to my family, to the world. We are all human together. And I will keep trying to be the best version of me. I am full, full of hope. I 
am human. Now at the end of this book, they talk about practicing a simple loving kindness meditation. So you repeat these four phrases. I'm going to give you time to repeat them. May you be healthy. May you be happy. May you be free from suffering. May you be filled with peace. Now you imagine somebody that you have challenges with, like a sibling or maybe a classmate sitting in front of you. And if that's difficult for you, you could think about somebody more neutral. And you repeat those phrases again and send them your loving energy. May you be healthy. May you be happy. May you be free from suffering. May you be filled with peace. Now you think about other people who may need that, whether you know them or not, and you do those phrases again. May you be healthy. May you be happy. May you be free from suffering. May you be filled with peace. And then at the very end, think of yourself. Fill your own heart space with love for yourself as you repeat. May I be healthy. May I be happy. May I be free from suffering. May I be filled with peace. Now, how does this make you feel? How do you think that would affect you and your relationships over time if you did that regularly? We have the power to learn, to grow, and to love. We are filled with possibility. We are human.